148 and the difference between the UHF and VHF frequency bands. Basically, the radio is still working pretty well, but there are some things I need to address. First, in the configuration guide I made a while back, I didn't mention the dual band feature. When you set your frequency code, you must do it on the correct band, choosing between VHF, very high frequencies, and UHF, ultra high frequencies. In most cases, if you're gonna operate with common radio devices on the field, you gotta stick with the UHF band, which is the lower string of codes on the display. What's the difference between VHF and UHF? Well, to put it simply, very high frequencies operates between 30 and 300 MHz, while ultra high goes from 300 to 3000. But let me elaborate on that. Radio waves in the UHF band travel by line of sight propagation, on a direct path from the source to the receiver, and by ground reflection. UHF are shorter length waves but at a higher frequency spectrum, which is why they penetrate walls and obstacles more effectively than the VHF. This is why they're more reliable on urban areas and used by the vast majority of radio users. VHF are instead more efficient in rural areas with low amount of physical obstructions, with lower frequency spectrum and longer length waves. If you guys are all equipped with dual band radios and you're out on open field, go for the VHF band, but in most cases you want to stick to the UHF for the more compatible and versatile option. On the Tri PRC148 you can memorize channels for each singular band, so a set of channels for the UHF and a set for the VHF, by accessing the menu with one of the two strings of codes selected. Once again, the upper string is VHF, the lower UHF. This is something I wouldn't actually do, and I'll get to that in a second. I often had problems with this radio suddenly not receiving or transmitting. This always happens right when I turn on the radio, not during usage of the device. To solve this problem, I simply reset the whole system and reconfigure the speaker to external, if I'm using a push-to-talk. Then the radio starts working properly again. What's the downside of this procedure? The memorized channels go out of the window and you just lost a good half an hour of work. That's the reason I never memorize channels and use instead a frequency table, either saved on my smartphone or printed on a piece of paper. You can also scale it down, print it and tape it on the radio for faster access. So when I'm using this radio, I always reset first. Not the best, but at least that's all you need to do to have a great apparatus with incredible range and extremely solid build. Once you get used to this procedure, it really isn't that bad. Well, thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you guys pretty soon.